everybody, welcome back to a late show. Let's say hello to the star of CBS This Morning, Mr. John Baptiste. Hey, what's happening? Thanks for getting up this morning so early. <laughs> it was my pleasure. I didn't really get up that much. I kept on my my pajamas and my bathrobe. I just got a cup of coffee. So what was it like? What was morning TV like? Man, it's, it's so different to what we do. It's just you're up at 4 or 5 in the morning, and, and you're on. I'm not usually on at that time. So <laughs> no, it, it's jazz just a, is not associated with early rising. That's right. That's right. So you just got to kind of shift the, the night energy all the way to the morning or carry it over, I guess. Are you doing it again tomorrow? Yeah, I'll be there tomorrow, tomorrow oh, morning. And right I... And early. Will not. I will not because I can barely keep I can barely keep my head up today. I missed a camera turn in the monologue because I was too tired. Yeah, yeah. Well, do you yeah, have any energy left to play any music uh, going into this act, John? Oh yeah, always I got that. John Baptiste, everybody. Thank you, John. Folks, you may have heard this pandemic has really taken a toll on the film industry, but there is one director who has still managed to have a great year. I'm talking about Zack Snyder, seen here pointing at his box office earnings. Earlier this year, Snyder released his long-awaited cut of Justice League, and right now his new movie, Army of the Dead, is both in theaters and on Netflix. That way, you can go see it and not miss anything when you have to go to the bathroom. Of course, Snyder's no stranger to blockbusters, having previously made Man of Steel, Dawn of the Dead, 300, and Legend of the Guardians, The Owls of Gahul, which, fun fact, holds the box office record for the highest grossing movie set in Gahul. <laughs> well, with that kind of track record, I decided to ask Zack Snyder to bring his cinematic vision to this show by guest directing one episode, and tonight I'm excited to give you an exclusive behind-the-scenes sneak peek at what's being called The Late Show, The Snyder Cut. Jim? As a director, I like a challenge. That's why I spent my whole career tackling the big genres. I'm always looking to grow as an artist. So when my agent asked me if I wanted to direct an episode of The Late Show, I immediately said yes. I love carpool karaoke. And then he said, no, it's the one that's before that. And I was like, OK. We were so excited that Zach signed on to the project. He has this genius for visual storytelling, from the dark, gritty look of Watchmen to Justice League's gritty, dark look. He can do it all. And most importantly, Zach loves our show. He loves what we do. He just had a few minor suggestions. Everything had to change. I mean everything, starting with the set, so drab. That's why I worked with my CGI team to create a fully digital environment that would allow for complete creative freedom. We started with a blank canvas and then pixel by pixel. With a crew of over 400 animators working 18-hour days, we envisioned a late-night set unlike anything anyone had ever seen before. I mean, unrecognizable. The total digital environment, it's all about freedom. This desk I'm at right here is $80 million more than my actual desk, but it can instantly transform into anything. I mean, it's just gonna stay a desk, but the potential to be anything is what great cinema is all about. Hey, welcome to a late show. Cut! Okay. Did I? I'm All just... right. No, no. Um, I'm going to take it one more time. But, but Please. keep in mind your family is trapped under an overturned tank. The treads are spinning inches from their face. The zombie hordes are attacking, closing in. Okay. You're desperate. You're angry. You're hungry for revenge. You're also just hungry. Ready? Welcome to A Late Show. I'm your host, Stephen Colbert. Tonight... Cut! That's the one. All right, print it or, uh, I guess it's digital. So don't print it, but we've got it, right? When it comes to traditional Zack Snyder leads, obviously you expect them to be, you know, carved, cut, shredded, hunks. 
gods among mortals. So I was flattered when Zach signed on because I'm more of a dweeb. Steven's weak. He fills out his clothes like lentils fill out a sandwich bag. That wasn't going to fly. So we got him an elite Hollywood personal trainer. And after weeks of intense workouts, the results were unbelievable. I've never seen anyone make less progress. I think he actually lost muscle mass. What can I say? I love oyster crackers. And before you say that these are empty calories, they're not. Because I fill them all with m and m When it came to Steven's monologue, I wanted to give the real Zack Snyder fans out there what they've been demanding for years. Another classic Zack Snyder slow motion shot. The problem is monologues are so static. Slow motion needs action. So I had an idea. Throw a knife at Steven. If the infrastructure bill passes, this will be the very first time in the last... He did not mention the uh, knife throwing part. Look, directing is all about keeping your talent out of their comfort zone. Lost a lot of blood. Then I needed overall the band. John Batiste and Stay Human. I've been working a lot with zombie makeup for my new Netflix movie, Army of the Dead. So I started wondering, what if Stay Human didn't? Oh, yes. Zack Snyder let me do the show the way I've always wanted as a flesh-craving member of the undead. Obviously, it's a free country, but you can be vaccinated or you could be unvaccinated. Oh, oh, oh fish sticks! John, 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 I like your commitment, but you are not a zombie, okay? You're not, you gotta, wait, wait, no. Hey, no, no, no! Lost, lost a lot of blood that day. Ooh, delicious. 10 out of 10, Pops. Oh. So I decided all the interviews should have a subtle reference to the alternate future shown in my version of Justice League. See if you can spot it. It's very subtle. Hey, everybody. Welcome back. You know my first guest tonight from his work at Arkham Asylum. Please welcome to Alecho, the Joker. Thank you for agreeing to show up at the last minute after Jason Bateman canceled. Batman. Uh, no, Bateman. John Baptiste ate him. <laughs> he made me. You made me. Exactly. Thanks for being here. So, what projects are you working on? What's on your mind? I often wonder how many dead eyes can you look into before you die inside yourself? Well, I've interviewed Ted Cruz and Rand Paul, and I seem to be doing okay. <laughs> <laughs> I understand you're a bit of a prankster on set. The whole episode is 16 hours and 47 minutes. And that's just the beginning of the extended late show Snyderverse. We're talking spinoffs, animated specials, theme park rides. Suck it, Warner Brothers. Suck it. Uh, wow. Uh, his words, not mine. But uh, yeah, suck it, Warner Brothers. Bottom line, I cannot wait for everyone to see the Late Show Snyder Cut. Hey, Steven, think fast. <laughs> He's a genius. Were we rolling? Available now on Paramount Plus. A mountain of suck it, Warner Brothers. Thank you, Zack Snyder. Army of the Dead is in theaters and on Netflix now. We'll be right back with Will Arnett. 